Hi, today I would like to discuss how DOM promises work and uh, I'm going to show you uh, the workings of it. So uh, follow on with me. Basically, I have an index.html file here and I have only two elements on it. Uh, basic, uh, on one button on click, it, it calls a function get uh, with a URL, which is essentially the local host uh, URL. And it has got a paragraph element with an ID of display so I can change what gets displayed on it and uh, promise.js uh, file right now just has that function get and it prints on the console the url so let's see uh, what it is doing right now as you can see it shows the button and the paragraph test if i click on get uri it prints the uri on the console so that's all it is doing so let's try to fill in this function and uh, in the process, I'll explain you how the promises work. So let's say we set up a variable. Uh, uh, my promise and uh, it's going to create a new object, new promise. Promise is basically uh, a class in the library, the DOM uh, that uh, we will be using to create the promise. And it takes a uh, parameter, a function, uh, which uh, has a, a resolve parameter as well as a reject promise. So my promise is going to uh, create this function. And in this promise, what we can do is, we can do th uh, two things. So let's say uh, we want to resolve this promise with a success. So we can just say resolve. And here I can, for example, type in all good. And uh, how do we use this promise? Uh, to use this promise, I have set up a little bit of code which I'm going to copy and I'll show you what it is. And uh, all this code is basically doing is getting the element in the DOM which has the ID of the display. And uh, we got the pipe promise over here. So uh, at this point, I say then, which is, means the success case. In the success case, I provide a function which takes a parameter message and all it's going to change do is change the inner element of this uh, paragraph to say success plus the message. In the error case, it will change the message, uh, L, uh, change the error message to whatever uh, error message we get. And uh, initially, uh, and then at the end, very end, it says promise is all created. So uh, right now, the way it is going to work, I'm going to comment this uh, all uh, created because it's going to otherwise overwrite it. And let's see what it does uh, right now. If I click on uh, get URI, you can see it says success all good, and uh, which is what we expect if we resolve this promise uh, in, in the right fashion. So instead of resolving the promise as all good, let's say I resolve I want to reject this promise, which is basically an error case. So I say reject uh, and then put in the text all that. And this is going to reject the promise and it should go into the error case. And let's see uh, what it does. So if I uh, click in the text, if I say get URI, now it says all bad. So you can see from the promise, I can either resolve it in a good fashion or reject it in all bad. And uh, here you can see how this uh, uh, my promise uh, function can be used later on. So give you a little bit more concrete example. I'm going to replace this function uh, with some code that is a little bit more realistic that you may end up getting uh, in practice. I'm going to copy it. Let me just uncomment this code. So what this code is uh, doing right now is uh, getting an HTTP object and uh, it is opening the request with a get method for the URL and it is attaching an onload event handler which basically says if HTTP status we get back is 200 which is all good. I'm going to resolve this by saying all good with HTTP response text. Otherwise, if the status is not 200, I'm going to reject it with saying all bad and put in the HTTP status text. Uh, I have an error handler, which is basically going to reject this promise. 
and I've also set up a timeout function which basically says after five seconds this HTTP request must be sent and uh, towards the end where we had the inner text I'm going to essentially uncomment that and uh, we should have this function uh, ready if it is all working And let's see uh, what it does. So we have the initial test. Uh, I say get URI. It says promise all created, which is what happens. And if we wait a little bit for five seconds, we get the response, uh, which is basically our HTML that we had on the page. So you can see button on click, and it's all our text. So that's how you would be able to use promises. It's the very new way of doing things in the DOM. And you don't really need any library. A lot of the new browsers already support this and uh, you can uh, start using it. Thank you for watching this short video. If you want some more information, you can go to my website, uh, Gaur Associates. I'm going to do a quick search. Uh, I'm over here. And uh, if you want to look for the JavaScript information, you can just click on the JavaScript tab and you can see some of my new videos and other uh, videos. And thank you for time to watch this video.